Taurus, hi. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your August 2022 general reading. Now, what we will do here, we will divide the reading into sections so it is easier for you to understand. Um, and also, for me, easier to read it. And what we will do is we will look at three areas. Um, the first one is your overall energy for the month of August 2022, just to see how the energy flows for you Taurians. Before we then go into um, your emotional core, see if there's any healing that needs to uh, take place or uh, anything new coming with regards to, to, to love. And then finally, we will look at your um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of August 2022. Okay, with no further ado, Taurians, let's have a look at your Overall energy for the months ahead. Okay, Taurians, changes are coming. So if you are interested or if you feel like you get a bit stuck, you will get unstuck. You will become unstuck, uh, but you have to be patient. So the point is, these guys are making is, change is the only constant in the universe. Don't fight it because to be fair, Taurians as a sign, Taurus as a sign, has that issue at times that you are resistant to change to a certain extent. And all the guides are saying is two things here. Number one, do not fight change. And change is in the process of finding you. Right? It also can be seen as an opportunity. Maybe there are things that you have already identified as things that need to change. So now they can be changed. But anything that needs to be changed or any changes that come to you, you have to approach with a lot of patience. There's no quick fix here. Nothing is like in your face and, um, you know, I don't want this anymore, so I'm going to change it like this. Changes are coming. They are inevitable. Allow them to happen. To happen. Don't hold on to things that, um, you know, no longer wish to stay, for instance. You know, don't hold on to jobs. Uh, for instance, where you're not welcome, all that kind of stuff. And try to embrace change. But you will have to be patient because the change that is coming might take some time for you to really understand what the change is about. So don't push anything. Right? Don't be impatient. Be very patient. So if you think he sounds weirder than normal today, well, what happened is a while ago a tooth broke off. And now I'm having a denture, and it's all good. It's just a you know a, a denture, but um, I'm sort of relearning to speak, <laughs> and so um, yeah, um, if I sound a bit weird, it's because I have to get used to that denture um, being in my mouth. Like I mean, it, it is a foreign object. It's like you know, so that's why I sound even weirder, right? I mean, if I'm not mistaken, here on YouTube there is a there is a subtitle button. But chances are they messed it up. <laughs> anyway, so that was your um, overall energy for the month of August 2022 for the sign of Taurians. You are watching Thomas's Tower page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you really like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com medium Thomas. I love my coffees. Much appreciated. Okay, so now let's have a look at your um, emotional core. See what the guides can show us or tell us um, about, you know, what needs to happen, right? Okay. You have, it's a bit of a weird term, it, 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 the term is finding sanctuary. What it really means is, is that this month in August 22, it is, un, it's, I can't talk, <laughs> literally. What the guides are saying to you, open up to your spirituality, feel things. Your intuition will never lie to you. Feel what you want to do, feel where you wish to go, and don't follow that urge that is a, a bit of an imprint in Taurians, you know, that, that you, you, um, you want to have stability quite a lot, which is an imprint that, that uh, uh, Taurians just have. And all the guides are saying is, don't approach it from a point of, oh my God, I hope, I hope this is going to work or I hope this works or I need this to continue, that sort of stuff. They're asking literally when it comes to your emotional core to just 
Trust your intuition. Don't deceive yourself. That's another thing that I'm getting. Um, just see it for what it is. And because your emotional core doesn't lie to you, your, 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 your gut feeling is always correct. They're asking with regards to anything to do with old patterns that need to leave, old trauma that might come forward or that spills out of you, as well as new relationships or, or getting relationships that are a bit stale to a better place, if that makes sense. Everything here is about trust your intuition, trust that what you feel is exactly what's going on. Okie dokie. Lastly, my friends, we're looking at the um, uh, opportunities that present themselves to you in the months of August 2022 for the sign of Taurians. Now, I mentioned this uh, last month that um, I'm working on a card deck with a friend of mine and um, the uh, Kickstarter uh, will be happening soon and um, we have finished the cards, if that makes sense, so we know what they're going to look like. So if you watch the video till the very end, there will be a one minute clip in the end here, or at the end, that will show you the deck and, and, and everything to do with it, right? So please, please, please watch till the end um, and keep your eyes peeled on the Kickstarter that will hopefully be announced very, very soon. Anyway. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading with myself, Thomas Janak. This is for Taurians. This is your August 2022 general reading. And now we're looking at your at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August. And you have flexibility and stillness. Now, flexibility and stillness is in a way self-explanatory, and then it isn't. What the guides are saying, while opportunity, okay, I have to listen, I have to say this the way they make me feel here. Yeah? It is not a great month for opportunities to manifest, which has to do with the fact that, you know, schools are breaking up with holiday season. A lot of people are sort of more interested in recreation um, and a lot of people are not hiring, if that makes sense. If this is about uh, opportunities for you with regards to changing, changing jobs, for want of a better word. Point they're making is you are Taurus, Taurus. You are kick-ass sign. Be flexible. You have to be flexible. Uh, for opportunities to work for you. At the same time, you have stillness. So all you need to do is to show that you are flexible if uh, it is uh, uh, required, right? But don't please anybody. And don't think for a minute that expressing to someone where they go wrong <laughs> will go anywhere in, in August. Right? So you show them that you're flexible, you show them that you can work under pressure right? with regards to opportunities, um, but go into your, into your calmness when you execute them. Same goes for people who want to be um, self-employed. Same goes for people who think, okay, I saw a house um, hundreds of miles ago and I don't know anyone. Be flexible. If you are a person that is moving, and you find a house at the end of the world, and it is for you, that's where you should go, right? But go into your stillness. The more you panic about stuff that you cannot control, the less things work for you. Okie dokie, that's all we have time for. That's all the guides want you to know. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you all next month. Bye-bye.